So what we're we going to be doing today, we're going to be fitting a uh, new LED interior light and some new footwell lights. Um, I'll show you the product. So here we have the two products. We've got the interior light. I've only got the one just to replace this centre one because I don't really use the other ones and I will eventually get another one for the back but this is just the main one that I really use. And here we have the um, auto beam footwell lights. They will light up all down here in a bit more better colour really. Should look pretty mint. So the first thing you're going to do is replace the uh, interior one. So what you're going to do is get your hands literally behind it and just pull. It will eventually come off. Don't really need to yank it too hard, it comes off really easily. Just put that aside and as you will see this bulb here is the one that we're going to be replacing. So to remove the original bulb all we've got to do is just push that aside it falls out and looks just like that. Keep this aside just in case the other ones don't work for any reason just because obviously we want to return that back in. So now you can see that we've got the uh, new bulb. Basically just want to reverse what you pretty much just did so obviously put that in, push it and then pop it in. It's a bit hard doing it one handed so I'm just going to do this bit off camera and I'll show you what it looks like once it's in. So after a little bit of fiddling around it kind of feels like at first that it's too big to fit in. This one here, this little clip does bend like it is meant to be pushed back. Uh, this one doesn't bend so just push it against that then pop it in it will go in it does look pretty cool so if we just turn it on look at that so it haven't got that horrible yellowy effect anymore it looks pretty sweet this one handed literally reverse it that like literally just pops in clips in just like that just turn it on look at that in the dark that's going to shine so well let's jump down now and do the footwear ones so this is what the uh, product looks like it's just like that and it comes with free end tape on the back of it so what we need to do is just jump down here you'll see the bulb here just be careful just in case it is hot it's a little bit warm just pull it out there's the bulb it's quite fucking hot jesus and then obviously the connections gonna go straight into there again make sure you put the uh, bulb aside just in case they don't work don't want to lose it or break it because otherwise it's gonna look a bit stupid Okay, so the next step is really simple. Get this connector on the back of the lights, pop it into here. If it doesn't work, take it out, turn it the other way around, because it will go in one way. Let's just have a look. We've got light. Now look at that. So now what we want to do is pull off the tape, sort all this out, and somehow mount it up there, just so then it's out of the way. It's obviously, you don't want it hanging. So I'm just going to mount that, find the best position to put all this wire in, and I'll show you where I've placed it. Okay so what I've done is I've literally mounted it on the bit where the old one was so I've pushed it right up, tucked the wires behind and I've literally just pushed it up and stuck it on the bracket where the old one went just because that was the most best place to have it like equal. Look at what that that is not good but yeah that's like sort of equal level. Here it looks like it's hanging down a little bit but it's actually not can't push up anymore that bracket but obviously when you're here you can't even see it but it will shine down onto your foot well so all you've got to do now is just do the exact same on the passenger side I'm not going to show you that just because he's literally the exact same but they do look pretty cool I will try and get a video of him in the dark um, later on when I finish work so yeah should look pretty cool and uh, we'll see how they turn out in the dark looking forward to testing them out Okay, so it's currently quarter to 12 <laughs> in the evening, just finished work. I'm gonna be turning off the engine and it's all gonna light up. Guys, it looks bloody awesome. Who's ready to see these auto beam lights? It looks pretty cool. Let's go. Holy fucking shit. It literally lights up like a Christmas tree, guys. It is ridiculous. The only thing I wanna do is remount this one. Because uh, it's not really sticking that well, so I might get some stronger sticky stuff to remount it. When I come out of work, it was actually hanging down. So yeah, just be wary of that one. Passenger side's fine. Interior, it's, it's literally ridiculously bright. It's like, it's crazy. The camera don't do it justice. Obviously, it's going to turn off now. Just turn it back on. So what I, what I wanted to say, guys, is thank you very much for all the support, as always. Um, look out on the channel. There's going to be a up-to-date uh, Fiesta SDE mods video all i'm gonna say i've not ruined it for everyone a lot has happened off camera to this car 
that is the video that you do want to check out. Um, that will be on the channel. I'm not going to promise when, but very it will be the next video. So, guys, without further ado, hope you enjoyed this video. Please ensure to give it a thumbs up. Link will be down in the description, obviously, to these lights if you're wanting to purchase them yourself. Um, hit that subscribe button, you know, and show the support that you are all showing already. Thanks, guys, for all the support, as always, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.